if climbing didn't work out. Oh. <laughs> 17-year-old Fayetteville, North Carolina. Kai Leitner appears to be unchallenged. Two more holes between Kai Leitner and his second national championship. That is going to be it for Kai Leitner, the 2017 national champion. Kai is one of the best climbers I've ever seen. Stay focused, Kai. For a long time, Kai has been gung-ho at the competitions. Just no fear. Kai Leitner making it happen. I'm Kai. I'm 19, and I'm a professional rock climber. I've always loved climbing things. Even before I officially got into the sport, you could find me on the top of a basketball goal, climbing the sides of buildings. And ever since I walked to the climbing gym, I couldn't think of anything else. So I've been climbing for about six months in Fayetteville, North Carolina. And Kai's mom walked in the door with him one day and she's like, look, Someone recommended us to come here because I found my child on top of a basketball goal and I need him to burn some energy in a safe way. And so he came in and we walked around the gym and just climbed. He left crying because he was climbing all of them except we got to one that was kind of like a roof and he couldn't do it. And yeah, that was kind of like, I think when his infatuation with climbing began. Climbing was just something that caught my attention and that I could obsess over. And I could literally stay in one place for two and a half hours and it was the only thing I thought of. And I never found any activity like that before. That gave me such a euphoric feeling and something that I was so obsessed over. And so I just feel like it's just a part of my life. <laughs> At the World Championships last year for the youth, I was competing in one of the disciplines for bouldering, and it was a semifinal round. And on the second boulder of the round, I had my thumb folded on this thing called a volume. And pretty much when I put all my weight of my body onto it, it kind of just collapsed. And I ended up fracturing my thumb, tearing the ligaments in my thumb. It was pretty much a useless thumb. Even though I had fractured my thumb and I had torn a lot of the ligaments in my thumb and it was pretty much useless, I was still able to continue that 12-day competition competition in total and win two medals. I think something that has made Kai good is the challenges that he's faced with naturally. He's naturally a big guy. The way he moves his body, the way that he utilizes different parts of his body are in a lot of ways unlike any of the other male competitors. They're unlike that also because he has to be that way. A lot of the other strong guys are shorter, thinner, just smaller guys. They fit in the average box a lot easier. And being a bigger athlete, a lot of times people said that a competition climbing wouldn't work for me at some point because I would outgrow the sport. I've never been good at the one-arm pull-ups because my yeah. arms are so long. I don't think I've ever been worried about being too tall in the sport because I always believe that it just requires adaptation. Obviously there are times in training or in competitions that you know I don't perform the way I expect and I can be disappointed, but my determination to pursue the sport and to, to be the best that I can be has never wavered, even from day one. One of the things that I think makes him special is that he's really tenacious. He just tries as hard as he can all the time, but now he's starting to learn how to be more efficient with his body. He needs more strength because he's taller, because he's bigger, because he's thicker. That's it, Kai. Good. Looks great. We meet usually about three times a week, and I have him warm up via running about every time. Kai always works really hard. Having the talent is something that is innate, but having the dedication and diligence to do all the extra training when he's tired and has school and has other climbing, those are things that are really hard to teach someone. I want you to try to be more like powerful with it, so think faster on the way down lower on the way up. We're kind of trying to work a little bit more antagonist group, so he does a lot of pulling motions. So I try to incorporate some lower body and pushing muscles that he doesn't do as often just to create a more balanced athlete. <laughs> I'm like really terrible at balance. I feel like everything is kind of important for climbing. You have to have a really wide variety of skills to be good at climbing. When you're a climber, I kind of look at them as like gymnasts. It's like you need the power and the strength, but you also need the flexibility. So making sure he's not just getting tight when we do strength training. So we use these acumobility balls just to hit a couple of major muscle groups like lats and upper back muscles he uses a lot. Essentially the trigger point release, a lot of people use it before weightlifting sessions. You're just trying to get that mobile to be a little more elastic, which when you need that kind of flexibility, if you can get that little extra reach, it's going to help. 
Since my husband coaches Kai and Mike come to their practices, I can see what Kai is doing on the wall and we can kind of talk about where he feels strong, where he feels weak, and then directly correlate that into the weight room so we can work on the weaknesses and get that to translate on the wall. Morgan usually works with more of the conditioning and strength training aspect of my training and Shane is definitely the climbing aspect. So Shane develops all my climbing training programs and he's the one that belays me and makes sure that I follow through with them. The main idea with warming up for Kai is that each time he warms up on the wall, he does something slightly different because each competition has a slightly different setup. I usually like try to read the route so that I can figure out what the beta is and see what's the best way to get up the wall. You can get a variety of different things, but also you can start to flip that switch for like being able to do things on your first try. It doesn't matter if you've done them before, we're just gonna do them again first try because at the competition, we know the mindset that you used to have needs to change a little bit. So a lot of the climbs he hasn't done in here because we've been spending a lot of time on the rope wall recently, trying to prepare for this Pan American Championship. So a lot of the boulders are new for him, but the main thing is that he needs to connect with his hands, his feet, his mind, his eyes. Everything just needs to all connect on the first attempt. Most of the time he can be aware enough to like combat physics, which is hard to do. On the flip side, because he's so tall, when momentum gets created, he has a lot more of it than someone who's short. So if his feet come off the wall, he's got to have a stronger core than someone who's short to be able to like combat that. Those are kind of like some of the things that he just really needs to focus on. Also being a first year college kid, time management is like the other big one. Currently, I'm a freshman in college. I applied for Babson College because I knew that the, the major that I wanted to do was business management, and I was given a full scholarship to go. It can be kind of stressful balancing the two. I spend a lot of time studying. Like Sometimes I have to tell Shane that I'll be a little bit late to practice because I have to finish this paper. A lot of the benefits of moving to Boston was the fact that Shane lived here, and so I would be able to continue climbing at the high level that I wanted and have the materials that I needed to continue my training while getting a good education. Kai is only limited by himself. Kai has proven to me over and over and over, if an obstacle is put in front of him, he figures out a way to overcome it. You got shoulders of steel. Kai represents a minority group in our sport. And one of the things that Kai and I always talk about is how to get more minorities into the sport. The fact that he's aware of it and actively trying to get people more engaged is important. And I think he's pretty darn good at it. Climbing is a sport for everyone. Climbing is not only just an innate part of human nature, but it's also just an activity that whether you're four years old or whether you're 65 years old, there's something for you. Right now, my biggest goal is to go to the Olympics in 2020 and achieve as much as I can in the process. I've been to the Olympics and I know how amazing that is and I know that he has what it takes. So because it's still a few years away, it's all about the process. Going to the Olympics is a really big challenge because there's a lot of people that are vying for a very small number of spots. The U.S. isn't even guaranteed a spot. He's got a lot of challenges, but having moved to Boston, having people to help him accomplish his goals, where it's not just him and his mom anymore, I think that we're going to be able to accomplish a lot together. Honestly, sky's kind of the limit.